Chapter 58 The Debate In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful. Indeed, Allah has heard the statement of she that disputes with you, O Muhammad, concerning her husband, and complains to Allah. And Allah hears the argument between you both. Surely Allah is all-hearer, all-seer. Those among you who make their wives unlawful to them by saying to them, You are like my mother's back. They cannot be their mothers. None can be their mothers except those who gave them birth. And surely they utter ill words and a lie. And surely Allah is oft pardoning, oft forgiving. And those who make their wives unlawful to them and wish to free themselves from what they uttered, the penalty is the freeing of a slave before they touch each other. That is an admonition to you, and Allah is all aware of what you do. And he who cannot find the money for freeing a slave must fast for two successive months before they both touch each other. And for him who is unable to do so, he should feed sixty poor persons. That is in order that you may have perfect faith in Allah and his messenger. These are the limits set by Allah. And for disbelievers there is a painful torment. Surely those who oppose Allah and his messenger will be disgraced, as those before them among past nations were disgraced. And we have sent down clear proofs, signs, and revelations, and for the disbelievers is a disgracing torment. On the day when Allah will resurrect them all together and inform them of what they did, Allah has kept account of it while they have forgotten it. And Allah is witness over all things. Do you not see that Allah knows of whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth? There is no secret council of three, but he is the fourth, nor of five, but he is the sixth, nor of less than that or more, but he is with them wherever they may be, and afterwards, on the day of resurrection, he will inform them of what they did. Surely Allah is the all-knower of everything. Have you not seen those who were forbidden to conspire secretly, and afterwards return to that which they were forbidden, and conspired together for sin and wrongdoing and disobedience to the messenger? And when they come to you, they greet you with a greeting which Allah has not decreed for you, and then say to themselves, Why does Allah not punish us for what we say? Hell will be sufficient for them. They will burn there, and worst indeed is that destination. O oh, you who believe, when you hold secret counsels, do not do so for sin and wrongdoing and disobedience towards the messenger, but do so for righteousness and piety, and fear Allah, to whom you shall be gathered. Secret counsels and conspiracies are only from Satan, in order that he may cause grief to the believers. But he cannot harm them in the least, except as Allah permits, and in Allah let the believers put their trust. O oh, you who believe! When you are told to make room in the assemblies, spread out and make room. Allah will make ample room for you from His mercy. And when you are told to rise up, rise up. Allah will exalt in degrees those of you who believe and those who have been granted knowledge. And Allah is well acquainted with what you do. O oh, you who believe! When you want to consult the messenger in private, Spend something in charity before your private consultation. That will be better and purer for you. But if you cannot find the means for it, then surely Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. Are you afraid of spending in charity before your private consultation with Him? If you did not do it and repented afterwards, then Allah has forgiven you. Perform prayer and give charity and obey Allah and Allah is all aware of what you do. Have you, O Muhammad, not seen these hypocrites who take for friends a people upon whom is the wrath of Allah? They are neither of you nor of them, and they deliberately swear to falsehoods. Allah has prepared for them a severe torment. Evil indeed is that which they used to do. They have made their oaths a screen for their evil actions. Thus they hinder men from the path of Allah, so they shall have a humiliating torment. Their children and their wealth will not avail them in the least against Allah. They will be the dwellers of the fire to dwell there forever. 
On the day when Allah will resurrect them all together for account, they will swear to him as they swear to you, and they think that they have something to stand on. Surely they are liars. Satan has overtaken them. He has made them forget the remembrance of Allah. They are the party of Satan. Surely it is the party of Satan that will be the losers. Those who oppose Allah and his messenger, they will be among the lowest. Allah has decreed, Surely it is I and my messengers who shall be victorious. Surely Allah is all-powerful, almighty. You, O Muhammad, will not find any people who believe in Allah in the last day, making friendship with those who oppose Allah and his messenger, even though they are their fathers, or their sons, or their brothers, or their kindred. For such, he has written faith in their hearts, and strengthened them with light and true guidance from himself. And we will admit them to gardens under which rivers flow, to dwell there for ever. Allah is pleased with them, and they with him. They are the party of Allah. Surely it is the party of Allah that will be the successful. Please subscribe to our channel. Kindly like, share, and comment on our videos. If anyone benefits because of your like and share, then God may provide you with unlimited reward which is called Sadaqat al Jariyah in Islam. Sadaqat al Jariyah is continuous rewards received for good actions, deeds, and spreading knowledge. It is a gift that not only benefits us in this life, but also benefits us and our loved ones in the hereafter. According to the hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, narrated by Muslim. When a person dies, all the deeds end except three. A continuing charity, beneficial knowledge, and a child who prays for them.